I've been an avid user of the personal Revolut app for the last six years. And now that I'm planning to build up my own business, have been eyeing the idea of setting up Revolut business. However, recently I actually learned about a third option that Revolut offers and that's Revolut Pro. And that's kind of in between the personal and the business account. You don't have to pay anything for it. It's free of charge. You even get a free card with it. And the most amazing part of it is that they offer 1% cash back on pretty much anything and anywhere. Because Revolut Metal, you have to pay a monthly fee and only get the 1% cash back if you spend in a foreign currency. In your local currency, it's only a 0.1%, which is really small. So the 1% cash back is definitely much more exciting. And there's no monthly fee to it. And on top of it, there are even more benefits you should definitely check out. So with this, let's get started. So actually, if you already have a Revolut account, you're gonna be having access to Revolut Pro. So you don't have to download another app, etc. So you're just gonna open your normal Revolut as you would and log in and that's your usual account right i have a whole playlist around revolut so you can check it out afterwards if you want to have a tutorial on how to use revolut what it offers etc but in the specific case i want to be using obviously the pro version so as you can see over here at the top i already have pro but i'll show you how to get there in case you don't have it yet you'll be clicking on the four buttons here at the bottom that's your hub basically and here you have all the things and features your account offers you your trading your credit cards debit cards what have you but we want to look at essentials and up here next to pockets there is Revolut Pro. Now, some countries don't have it yet. It will eventually roll out to more countries. I didn't actually have it for a while. Just recently, I got the notification that I have now access to Revolut Pro. So probably some Western countries already had access to it. So if you don't yet, be patient. It will come out eventually. And the cool thing is I'm on the free plan of Revolut and still I get access to Revolut Pro. So it really doesn't matter which kind of tier or plan you're on. And then all you have to do is click Revolut Pro and obviously you're gonna be taking into your account. Now, if this is the first time you're doing it, it will ask you three questions, what your business is about, which industry, what the name is of the business, and a website of the business. And then basically ask for approval. And for me, it took a couple of seconds and my account was approved without any further information needed because obviously all of this is based on your Revolut account, which has already been validated. So there shouldn't be any surprises for them. And I think Revolut Pro is really a great option for people who are just getting started with their own business, freelancers, starting a small business with little turnover. Later on, you might wanna have a full business account, the Revolut business account. But I think to get you started, to have a separate account to your personal spending, having that Revolut Pro account, Plus, of course, on top of the benefits, you know, such as sending invoices, I'll show you in a second, getting the cash back. I think it's really attractive without any additional cost where there is an additional cost with Revolut Business. Single business owner, freelancer, just getting started, I think it's the best option for you. So yeah, once you're up and running, it's pretty much similar to your normal Revolut account. As you can see over here, you see your account balance and how much you have left. I could obviously easily, if I click on the three buttons over here, add a new account in a different currency. So pretty much exactly the same as you would do with a normal Revolut account. It really is straightforward and makes perfect sense. So from here, you can do a few things you can't do with your normal account. For example, new sale. That's really cool. You press on here and you can choose some of the following. Payment link. For example, you can have a payment link and get paid right away. So you can click on that. You say the amount you want to get paid. Let's say 100 euro for uh, design works. And boom, continue. And here's the payment link. So that is something you can copy. I can share the payment link and then send it to the person and they can open the link and then pay however they want with their PayPal, with their debit, credit card, and you're gonna get immediately the money. They don't have to register with Revolut and that's super simple and super straightforward. Once again, for freelancers or if you're just starting kind of your own little side hustle, I think it's a really, really cool way to get paid. And then you can see over here in sales, obviously it's pending and once paid, you would see it has been paid. But obviously in this case, it's not a real work has been done, so I can cancel it and it will be deleted accordingly. If I go back into new sales, uh, once again, I can see here the invoice. I can create an invoice also, and the uh, customer name will appear here. I can put the item, whatever the item was. So once again, you can have certain templates. If you do the same works uh, for different people, tax rate, quantity, etc., you can put this over here. And then it could be a scheduled invoice where it's sent it automatically, or it's a one-off. You can change the currency as well. So really a nifty feature if you're just getting started. Then from here, you can obviously add money to your account. You just click add money. And unfortunately, when I film and screen share my screen, it hides it and I really cannot show you how it's done. But basically, you can, like you would in your normal Revolut account, you can send money to your pro account either by bank transfer, by debit or credit card, Apple Pay, Google Pay, or, and that's the cool thing, you can transfer from your normal Revolut account to your Revolut Pro account. You can see that over here. I've actually done a few of those transactions. You can see from Euro Personal. So that's from my personal Revolut account. You just press on it. You say, what is the amount? And literally in a second, you have it immediately from your Revolut account in case you have funds there 
into your pro account and also vice versa. You can send the money very simply across there, which is really, really cool. And from here, of course, as always, you can click on the three buttons. You can send, exchange, get a statement, withdraw any money you would like to, get some more details and add any more currency accounts if you wanted to. In terms of exchanging money and sending money, it's basically based on your Revolut personal account. So it's not for free that basically you have metal access, but the same limits apply that you have on your personal plan. So in my case, it's up to, I think, a thousand euros worth of FX, which is free. Anything on top of it in terms of foreign exchange over a thousand euros would be charged at 0.5%, I believe. So, you know, which is quite reasonable. So if I needed more and I have bigger volume and send a lot of money abroad or receive money from abroad, then obviously it would make sense to upgrade to Metal or Revolut Premium in this case, depending on what the requirements are. And on top of this, I would get the 1% cashback. So, you know, still very lucrative and potentially cheaper than Revolut business, especially if you're just getting started. And if you scroll down, you basically see also a couple of insights. Obviously not so much. I literally just got started today. So I was so excited to record the video right after. Couldn't wait much longer. So you can see here my balance, you know how it fluctuates. So that's the balance I have right now. And then the cashback. So the cashback, I was a bit concerned because, you know, I spent money already and I didn't get any cashback. So I wrote to support and they replied to me within a matter of minutes saying that the cashback usually only comes seven days after the transaction because, you know, obviously certain transactions take time and officially a transaction is only really completed after seven days because, you know, there might be chargebacks, etc. So after seven days, once the transaction has been officially completed, you're going to get the cashback amount paid into your wallet. And from there, it seems only at the end of the month or the beginning of the first month, it can actually be withdrawn. So if you have a lot of cashback accumulated, you can't actually use it within the month. But at the end of the month, you can then get it into your actual cash balance, so to say, and can use it. But you can see it over here, you can track it. And um, yeah, I think it's really cool. It would, of course, be better if it was immediately there, like it was with my Nexo card. But I mean, still much better than nothing. And I don't actually know many debit cards in Europe where you're going to get 1% cashback paid to you in your local fiat currency. In crypto, fine, but not in fiat currency. So that's really unique. And from here, you can obviously go to your cards. I can click the cards over here. I have all my other cards. And then you can see here my pro card. And from here, you can also add your pro card. And it will ask you the first time when you open if you want to order the physical card or if you're fine with the virtual card. For me, I'm fine with the virtual card. And the cool thing is also it's a MasterCard as most of my other cards are actually Visa cards. So, you know, for some people that might be important to have both big brands out there in case some, you know, suppliers accept one or the other, even usually they accept both. But in this case, I'm really happy to have the MasterCard as well. So I click on it. And then obviously from there, you can see the card details, etc. You can freeze it in case you lost it or you can add it to Apple Pay. And this is how it will look from Apple Pay. And literally, as soon as I open my pro account, I send from my personal Revolut 10 euros over there. I had the card a second later added to my Apple Pay. I went downstairs, bought a coffee and boom, it worked right away. And that's what I love about Revolut. It's so seamless. And yeah, just having it in my wallet, the pro account, getting 1% cashback on that, it's really awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm not even going to order a physical card because actually I never use a physical card. The only time I will use it and I'm still waiting for the Revolut credit card to come out soon because whenever I rent cars, somehow they never accept debit cards. So that would be good to have a physical credit card. But other than that, I actually have no need for a physical card or a credit card because I'm really happy having a virtual debit card. As you know me, I love Curve cards. So I actually added my Revolut Pro card also to my Curve card. So I have my normal Revolut card here and my Revolut Pro card. And in this case, any transaction I make, I get the 1% cashback with my Revolut Pro card plus the 1% cashback using my Curve card. So technically on every transaction, I get 2% cashback in fiat currency, not crypto. A lot of people now getting worried about cryptocurrency, of course. So having fiat money, euros or dollars, whatever is your case, I mean, that's really awesome. And yeah, I mean, why not? That's free money that you get back on every single transaction, which is awesome. However, there is one caveat though, and that is hidden in the fine print. So let me take you through that. So obviously a little outline on what it is, as it says, here, Revolut Pro, similar to our Revolut business product. The difference is that Revolut Pro is accessed through your existing Revolut personal account via the retail app. So you don't need a separate business app because Revolut business actually is a separate app. So if you prefer that, that's good. But in this case, Revolut Pro is kind of, you know, a professional layer on top of your personal account. Who can open a Revolut Pro account? You know, you need to have a personal account, of course. Uh, you have to be self-employed, natural person, not a company. So if you're a big company, then you cannot use the Pro account. You should be using the business account. And it says here, we'll only use Revolut Pro for business purposes. Of course, there are a few things where you cannot use the Revolut Pro card for. Things like you see over here. If you are in any of those industries, obviously you can't be using your Pro account and they might close you down. And then here's the important point. What type of transaction can you use your Revolut account for? 
As it says over here, Revolut Pro is for your business or side hustle. It can only be used for business purposes. By opening a Revolut Pro account, you agree that you will only use a Revolut Pro account for business and not personal purposes. If we issue a Pro card for use on your Revolut Pro account, you will only use that card for business and not personal spending. And lastly, you will also not do any of these things on your personal account if they relate to business activity. If you do any of these things, we may close your Pro account. The question is, what is business? What is personal, right? If I buy something on Amazon, you know, it might be used for my business if I buy camera gear etc does Revolut know it's for my business or is it personal I'm not sure how they quantify it and how they measure it if I buy coffee that's done during business hours so is that a personal spending because I enjoy it or is it a business spending because it's part of me staying productive in my business so I'm not sure how much detail they go into for now of course I will try using my pro card for pretty much everything and then I will see if I get some kind of warning etc worst case they have to shut me down but I do think I would get a warning before so then I can shift and only use the card where it's allowed to do so and and there you have it, a great new addition to the Revolut lineup. I think it really helps a lot of people who are just getting started, having a side hustle, are being freelancers or solopreneurs. And I think it's a great addition to send invoices, get paid on the go without having fancy setups with Stripe or PayPal, which often gets you know, declined and makes it really difficult and cumbersome to actually get paid. So I think it's an amazing option to get started, especially if you already have a Revolut account. And if you don't have one yet, then please use the link in the description below to get started and you help the channel in the process. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions about anything Revolut related pop them in the comments below i get back to every single one of you as always guys stay healthy get wealthy and i see you in the next one ciao